What up guys, this is Eddie out here in Malibu, California on a beautiful Saturday morning. We actually start in Santa Ana where we check out Rare Breed Life and Kevin's operation out there. I'm really proud of him to see the gym he's built. And then uh, we go out for a drive as we do with our cars. Uh, join us and enjoy. People would have like sex in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, me and Myra have been playing. Angry signs like, stop having sex in my sauna. But this is tight, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. Oh dude, this, this is uh, this week uh, I started doing the day like the day passes and little things like that because I've just been lagging on getting all I need is seriously like some dumbbells I'm gonna put like over there and then like a little cable machine. Yeah, I don't have too many people in here. Like it's just private. You probably don't want to. Yeah, I don't want it to be like that, dog. Mm -hmm. I want to keep it you as should, as possible. You want to know something? Make this like a closed access gym, and in order to be, be come here, you have to apply and explain like what are you, why do you want to train here? Like, hey, and it's like, I like that. Yeah, like, I want to be an active power lifter that compete or whatever the goal whatever is, and then it's like a golf club. And one, they respect your shit a lot more because there's something to lose. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and two, it like it creates this like aura, like like it's like an exclusive nightclub. Like, dude, like. Anyone could just join 24 or anyone could just join. Like yeah. here, you gotta be fucking special. It, does, and it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't mean you have to be a power lifter. Yeah, yeah, just the mindset yeah. and everything. Like do you fit the, the, rare, the rare breed like criteria? Hey, so I like that, because that's what I was thinking. I was thinking of having like exclusive membership, charging and then just being like, um, something like that, like apply for it. Like, like you look at Westside, like no, no one can just walk into Westside exactly. and just like, I'm training here now. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> Damn. So, so think that about makes sense, that. Was and then no one wants to quit because they don't want to lose their spot. Exactly. And then if they do quit, it's like, oh, someone, we uh, have two we spots. Have two openings <laughs> apply now and you'll get like 500 applications. Oh, yeah. That's exactly how I was thinking, Doug. Yeah. Exactly oh, this how I was thinking. thinking. So this is the beast. This is the caddy, baby. Dude, Dude this thing's a monster. Is it an dog. eight or a 10? It's a eight. A 6.2 uh, supercharged. Eddie and I'm here with a good friend of mine Kevin Pitbull yes, Torres um, we met way back about five years ago right yeah like and, five years ago Damn. Um, opening uh, Kratos gym which was in South Orange County I think it's not it's not there anymore but I think it will always go down as this like memorable like yeah, legendary spot sure. but anyway I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to Kevin he um, he came to Kratos as an employee um, was the best one we had he then went on to set world records in powerlifting and now he has his own facility and it's just so cool to see someone start and just keep growing and growing so congratulations to you man hey appreciate it man eddie's always been like i remember the first time i walked into kratos i was just trying to get a, a job there and i was like hey man i'm a powerlifter i work front desk and they were like building up the rigs like dude you can come back later once it's all running up and running but they hit me back and i trained there and Man, like Eddie has always helped me out with tons of stuff. With any any questions I ask him about personal life, he's always there. And uh, the best thing, it's like uh, when you have uh, someone you could look up to. It that's not like makes it feel like they're higher level than you just because they're you know, make more money than you or whatever. He's always been super humble, and that's something I can relate to. And uh, like you said, it's it's nuts to think I have my own gym now. After like five years ago, I was asking this guy for a job, and now I'm my own boss, and it's you know day by day just learning as I go and I've always been a, it's like the world like you know it's about who you know and you know what you do with it and I learned a lot from Eddie from learning how to run his gym at the Kratos one especially Metro Flex and man I'm super excited for the new one man yeah thank can't you, wait dude. to break that one in I've, I've done tons of heavy lifts at the original Metro Flex Long Beach but now it's ready for the what is a 2.0 or what 2.0 yeah Metro Flex yeah 2. I'll tell you 0. what like um 
uh, Long Beach will go down too. That's the as, as a memorable, memorable spot. Man. The 3200 Always. East 59th Street was that was some raw action. For I just know how to get there. I don't even know how to like tell people. I just my car just gets there when I <laughs> yeah. go there. Um, but but we got really really big things coming at the new spot in Hawaiian Gardens, and um, yeah, you'll definitely be part of the grand opening. We have all the uh, heavy heavy hitters come into the gym and and some break big numbers, baby. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm doing. I got my grand opening October 3rd. Pull up to my gym, Santa Ana, uh, 1534 East Edinger is the address. And I have um, Kayla Woolham, who's a big deadlifter. He's like the strongest deadlifter in the world. He's going to be there. I'm going to be hitting some big squats. I'm going to go for like a 700 pound seatless squat. And um, I got some other guys too, but they're not for sure. But for sure, pull up, man, October 3rd. This is just a random question. It has nothing to do with the videos we're shooting. What up? Have you ever considered going um, uh, equipped? lifting um or you think you'll always be raw i'll probably always be raw man just i don't care to like i like being it's like a go to gym and true hit that way yeah true just true to the number i don't yeah. like having I, I don't even like wearing wrist straps or knee sleeves but it's like you know it takes a little bit of toll on you and i don't, stuff like I don't that. wear wrist straps either. yeah so i just like being as raw as possible that's good i respect that dude yeah something wild about a suit though i um i i liz trains in a suit and it's it's fucking gnarly to just see like I like, bet because like just there's wait, not, you like, have no business handling. Yeah, like well, that's how it is when I when I wear the wraps, you know, when yeah. I wear the wraps, I I can barely when I squat, I can barely walk with the weight, and the fact that you're gonna go below yeah. ninety and then come back up is just like superhuman. Yes, and so it's crazy. It's addicting, man. That's why the people will put those suits on, and it's a whole different ball game. Yeah, well, I would say that um, if you're in the Orange County area, Kevin's got a really awesome spot, and if you're in the Long Beach area, come visit Metro Flex. And, um, there... yeah, we support each other and it's, it, we, you know, Kevin's got a really good thing going. He's got a huge community and a following, um, behind him now. And, and I think that, uh, you know, you're going to continue to shape what rare breed stands for, but I, I already see it as this brand and it's, it stands for excellence and, and heavy strength. And, and, you know, you guys are, are a tribe over there. I can already see the camaraderie and I think that's really special. That's what's going to make, you know, that's what keeps the gym around the long haul and like you look at like these illustrious gyms like west side and they have like just so much history and yeah, so uh exactly. yeah you guys are um established 2020 2020 baby Big anyway year. we're out here in malibu um yeah. uh, mobbing with our new cars and and having a good time and enjoying the view it's a saturday morning um nice and quiet road and we can get into some uh He's hit the 500 thing. mile mark right here <laughs> yes. on the corvette yeah and uh Anyway, thanks for joining us. This is a good day. It's a good day. All right, guys.